Hello everyone, um, this is Rida Khan. I hope you all are doing well. So uh, we're here back from Sparkles College to, you know, enlighten you and transmit some of the knowledge to the people who are keen learners and who want to learn about different subjects. So um, this course is business ethics and, you know, I'm going to start off with the lectures and this is the first lecture that I'm going to give. Uh, we're going to cover the whole course uh, over here and you know with um, it, once a week I'm going to s upload a 30 minutes lecture for you uh, maybe 15 minutes each and 15 minutes continued so what you can do is that you know starting off from the first chapter to the end chapter we can basically get the maximum knowledge about business ethics and this especially for the students who are you know who wants to learn virtually and who wants to you know use the um, power of YouTube and power of videos to actually understand different uh, concepts without uh, needing to spend time in classes going there attending those lectures and you know uh, just to save them from that hassle as well um, I have just made these lectures for you so that you know these can be super easy to hear super easy to listen and you know once you are you know done with the lecture if you have any sort of questions just write your question down and I'll love to answer you uh, I love to tell you that you know what how these things are so uh, I like I'd make sure that in the next lecture I cover the maximum questions from you guys so uh, before starting I would like to say that please subscribe our channel uh, so that you know whenever we are going to upload a video you can definitely um, go through it listen to it and you know enjoy uh, getting knowledge as much as you can starting off from the first lecture it is the business ethics and corporate social responsibility so moving on to this yeah I hope you can see my screen so you can see that in this we are going to cover uh, different things these are the objectives of this course that we are going to cover or you can say that this whole uh, you know the department of business and ethics that how ethics are working with business it's very important to actually understand the objectives first it's very important to understand why we are going to study these and you know what's the importance of ethics when it comes to business because I'm sure uh, we all have heard what business is right everywhere around us there are many people who are doing businesses we are also the ones who are you know um, our families our parents even uh, some of the individuals themselves are involved in business but this is a new concept for those who don't know that what does ethics mean when it comes to business and my sole uh, you know purpose of making the video is to enlighten them with what it actually means okay so the objectives uh, for the first lecture I'm just going to cover the first objective with you so that you know I, it is not too much of a burden on all of you and you easily grasp and absorb the concepts but I'm gonna go through all the objectives uh, you know of how we're going to take this forward so first of all explain the concepts of business ethics and social responsibility right so uh, you might be thinking that okay what does ethics mean when it comes to business and what does social responsibility means when it comes to business because we should all know that you know social responsibility m makes sense that okay it's going to be something regarding social aspects then why is it involved in business when business is just to make money is just to make profit right so this is a very important thing that comes in the mind of many individuals uh, you know who are learning this concept because they want to know that how is social uh, system who how is social mechanism involved when it comes to business so this is what we are going to explain you in this lecture we're going to tell you that you know how business needs to be done with ethics and with social responsibility it's not just of it's not just that you should earn money only or make profit only right there is a way to make that profit that way needs to be learned so this is the whole concept of explaining the the basically explaining this uh, you can say the phrase of social responsibility in business ethics so I hope the first one is pretty clear it's pretty simple explain the concepts of business ethics and social responsibility so this is what we're going to cover in the first lecture uh, but just you know giving you uh, walking you through the entire thing uh, let's do the second objective as well that we're going to do in future analyze and judge 
common ethical dilemmas in the workplace using case studies. So the second thing that we're going to cover is that we're going to analyze and we're going to judge. Now, these are two very important concepts, right? Analyzing, you know, just thinking it out, just seeing why, why is something important and to judging that what are those after thinking to judge, to make a judgment, to formulate a judgment that why ethical dilemmas are there in the workplaces. Ethical dilemmas are basically the conflicts. It's a, it's a situation where you have to, you know, where one on one side you have your business and its priorities and the other side you have ethical, ethical, uh, you know, ethical aspects as well that you need to consider. So how are you going to cater with this ethical dilemma that is actually, you know, getting affected or being uh, born because of the business priorities as well that we have on one side. So I'm going to back this up. I'm going to support this through case studies that we are going to do uh, in the next lectures. So this is the second objective of this course. The third objective is identifying the factors that influence ethical and unethical business practices. So, you know, we have explained what it is just to give you a recap we have analyzed we have judged now we have to identify that okay what are the factors that influence ethical and unethical business practices we have we are going to you know to the point when we are going to reach identify identification stage we would already know that what is ethical and unethical business practices now the question would be that what are the factors that are causing these ethical and unethical business practices? This is something as well that we're going to learn. Last but not the least, uh, describe the stages in the development of ethical standards. So you are going to learn that what are the stages that are involved in developing the ethical standards to see that, okay, you know, um, what are basically some of the steps, some of the stages, uh, you know, some of the steps that you need to take in order to formulate a great ethical uh, framework and to maintain some great ethical standards as benchmarks so that everyone can follow them. So you have to explain this uh, as well to people around you once you learn yourself as I'm going to, you know, just tell you about it because this is something very important we all are you know in the in the age where we are going to grow we are going to do business we're going to work in corporate environments we need to know what ethics are when it comes to business we need to know what social responsibility is when it comes to business right and it's just not for the business owners this is for employees as well this is for any junior staff member as well in your uh, organization this is for everyone ethics are for everyone when a business is involved all stakeholders okay be it the ceo of the company be it the employees be it the junior staff be it the investors the government everyone who's involved in that business or has a link with that business is going to be bounded by some ethical standards that he needs to, he or she needs to follow i hope that is clear okay moving on Let's start with our first objective that is explain the concepts of business ethics and social responsibility. Right. So what are business ethics? Basically, let me just read out the definition first and then I'm going to explain it to you. Business ethics, the standards of conduct and rules based on moral principles governing how businesses and employees should conduct themselves. So basically business ethics are the standards of some rules and regulations that are set on the basis of the moral principles. Moral principles, what is right and wrong, which is going to govern how businesses and employees should conduct themselves. I hope this is clear because I've given you a sound background of it. I think it should be clear enough, but still I'm going to, you know, uh, just give you, uh, you know, again, I can repeat it for you that the standard of conduct and rules, what are the standards to have some rules developed? Okay, that, okay, you can do this, you can do that. This is something that needs to be said. You should tell your employee, you should tell your businesses that, okay, this is something which is allowed in the business, in the organization, because this is ethical, but this is something just which is not allowed. So do's and don'ts are very important. So that is going to be only based on moral principles that how, you know, your businesses and employees should behave in that certain organization. So this is all about this 
reading it again for convenience the standards of conduct and rules based on moral principles governing how businesses and employees should conduct themselves right social responsibility okay so basically when we are talking about business ethics all of these things are interrelated i told you that's how you have to behave in the certain business environment that goes for the employers as well that goes for the employees as well that goes for all stakeholders so it's their social responsibility towards each other that they behave in a certain way basing their actions on the moral principles as i already discussed with you right so they need to make sure that they are socially responsible they should know that okay we have some sort of responsibility on us and we are socially responsible of what we are going to do so this is something which is very very important then we have uh, you know a balance between what's right and what's profitable so it's not like if i am a company owner and i've opened a company and i'm just thinking about what's profitable for me i'm i will say that okay i can do anything bad in the world i can just follow all unethical um, you know principles and i can follow those but at the end i should just be profitable that is not right that is something which is against biz- business ethics right because you're just then doing business you are not actually you know um choosing a balance between what is right and what is profitable so it's at times it's very important to you know uh, set your priorities straight that okay these are some of the ethical uh, moral values that we have to follow and regardless of what we are going to face in terms of our profit or loss we need to abide by these uh, laws and moral principles that we have set so it's very important i'm not saying that you should not consider your profit you should definitely consider your profit being a business owner but not at the expense of you know uh, hurting the moral values so a right balance a right you know pace a uh, equality between what's right and what's profitable needs to be maintained a correct balance basically okay so often shaped by the organizational ethical climate again once you're going to set the ethical norms rules uh you know on basis of the moral principles that we have already discussed it's going to you know determine how your business ethical climate is so you know so once you know that okay what's the ethical climate of our business is you're definitely going to maintain a balance between what's right and what's profitable so you can see that uh, we have this moral judgment moral rules ethical system code of ethics so this let's start from here right so code of ethics is very important right this will tell you that how you are going to formulate the business ethics right you can if you're going to look at from here you're also going to see a uh, descending uh, you know stage but let's start from here then to make it more easy moral judgment you would know what is right what is wrong in an organization okay a simple example is stealing right no is theft right in a business no it's not so that's your moral judgment okay you have formed the, that was first your judgment and then that was your rule that okay no you know this kind of fraud or theft or fraudery it's not allowed in the business so that is what moral rules are that have been set ethical system is going to revolve around these moral rules that you have set for your organization okay you get my point and then with this ethical system this ethical climate that you have you are going to make this code of ethics i hope this is pretty clear to everyone that this is these are the, some of the code of ethics that are going to be used in your business this moral rules don't mix it with this this was just right and wrong this is right and wrong in business do you get it which is going to be backed up by the ethical Im- environment and ethical climate in the organization i hope this is clear and now i've said, told you in great detail what business ethics are moving on we have some very easy slide with us um you know let me just see if you can just give me a second okay all right so ethical business practices unethical business practices sorry individuals can make unethical choices like conflict of interest bribery gift giving and receiving invasion of privacy or confidentiality dishonest hiring practices insurance fraud credit card fraud internet abuse 
okay let me just go uh, one by one to all of these okay so unethical business practices are there in an organization you should know that 